ideation um, uh, presentation that we're, we're working on. So as I mentioned, so from my personal struggle, I found something that I'm passionate about, which was nutrition. And with what I said earlier, loving people and loving to help people, I utilize nutrition so that I work with people and I help them with their challenges. And this by itself was very rewarding for me. So I found my passion. I found something that I love and I found something that will make me do what I love and get paid for it. So this is one thing that you guys need to do as a start. Find something that you would look forward to wake up every single day, something that is really rewarding. And even if you got to work for it for free, you will still have a big smile on your face for doing it. So this led me to go and study even further in the um, health and well-being sector. So um, I have a certification in the, uh, as a persistent, pers physician nutrition, uh, integrative nutrition, um, and uh, food psychology. So these are the third uh, three diplomas that I got. And with it, I quit my job in 2000, by the end of 2017 and started my journey as a health coach in uh, 2018. So that was the starting point of me as a professional um, a nutritionist or a health coach. And with it, I started from zero again. Mind you that, you know, like um, every chapter in my life, I start working somewhere and that itself comes with their challenges, come with their, um, uh, their needs. So every time you change phases, it's kind of starting, uh, like starting all over again. And with me being saying, uh, with me saying this, I need you to understand that there's nothing wrong with exploring, nothing wrong by trying different fields, different stages in life, different things, just so that you explore yourself, understand yourself, understand what do you love. And with it, you find more about what drives you, what keeps you motivated, and what kind of would give you that um, inspiration to continue within this path you want. So two years down the line, I worked as a health coach. I've realized there's a huge gap in the market uh, within, um, within the whole well-being uh, field where people mostly kind of focused on one area only. In one area, as in just nutritionists, we're just doing nutrition. Uh, physiotherapists just focus on their physiotherapy. Uh, personal trainers only focus on uh, personal training. And they might help with giving something in regarding to nutrition, but that wasn't their, um, let's say, um, their background. So they just give you a support, like a supporting document that would help you reach your goal. So I've worked with a lot of these people and I started bringing them together. So most of my work was built on collaboration, finding a a way in adding value to myself and the, um, and the uh, person that I work with, who is the other coach, so that we serve people. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know of me or follow me, but alhamdulillah, within a, a, a time frame of two years, I've been able to grow my page up to 10,000 followers on LinkedIn and um, Instagram. And I've been able to work with organizations like SCC, uh, Viva. Um, I worked with two different schools. I worked in, uh, with companies in, uh, in UAE um, and all this on a personal level. So I literally took what I love and made a business out of it on a personal level. One thing led to another and I just, you know, like I was thinking about it, you know, like how did one person be able to impact this many people just because I was able to find a gap in the market, just because I was able to talk to people and learn from their struggles, their challenges, and started cultivating packages that will serve them. And I realized, imagine this is the work of one person. What if I create something that will bring all these experts that I worked with and with it, we will be able to build an army of health exper experts that will be able to help not only people here in Bahrain, but beyond that as well. 
So this led me to يعني, just thinking about how could I create that um, space to have all these professionals together. And one and just through research, I was like, you know what? Let me start with a website. Um, as simple as a website that would have a, a list of um, a, a directory of these experts for each and every one of you guys could go onto this website, find the expert that you want to work with, and you could book like seamlessly and work with these people so that you reach your goals. As simple as that. You know, that was the initial plan. You know, my intention was to serve people and I found something that would be able to help um, help in creating that mission. But, you know, before, before doing that, I think uh, uh, Dr. Isra touched upon something that um, I'm sure you and Talha, I think as well, um, you, you would uh, relate to this. Starting a business is not easy. You know, I had an idea in my head and I was really passionate about, uh, passionate about it and I, was, and I believe it's a, for a good cause. So let me do it. At that point, um, I didn't have enough uh, capital or I didn't have the funding to start this business, you know? And I'm not sure if this would work. Any, just matter of fact, I just, I don't know if this is gonna work or people would accept it or um, this would serve like the, the uh, because how I imagined it in my, in my mind. So I started asking people around me, you know, what do you think about this idea? Um, do you think it's needed? I started building surveys. You know, it, it all comes down to asking so much because in your mind, it makes sense. But you need other people's perspective because you are creating something to serve a gap in the market. You're creating a solution to a problem, something that haven't been created yet that will make people's life easier or Anything that would help, let's say, an organization to build a better practice or make things more seamless. So a startup, when the importance of startup is to create something out of nothing to make things better in an organization or in people's lives. You know, as simple as that. Um, this, I, as I said, this idea um, of mine was something simple. and. Um, and there was something similar to it, but wasn't in the same, um, same let's say, depth that I wanted to create. That it had like it had the whole umbrella of all these specialists in one place. So all I did was give myself enough time to do more research on how would I be able to create this without actually me investing in it. And this is something that all of you guys could actually um, utilize programs like these because it will open your minds to new potentials, new dimensions, things that you never even knew of. There are a lot of incubators. There are a lot of startup accelerators. Um, there are angel investors. There are uh, VCs. Um, there are programs that actually happen every year. Um, there is pitting competitions. There are hackathons. All these are made for you guys. You know, the, uh, the Hamad back then, just a year ago, thought he wouldn't, wouldn't even be able to start his business because he doesn't have enough capital. So have launched his business without investing anything from his pocket. We won three competitions. We got to be the, um, the finalists in two other competitions. So that's five competitions in total. And we received this month a certification of business excellence in, and this all within the span of six months. So do I consider myself successful? I can't say that because I'm still in the beginning of the journey. Yet, if I would say, what am I? I'm a believer. You know, I didn't let anything stop, stop me or stop the idea from coming to life. I did what I can to try to put everything together that will bring this idea to life. 
And with that, I did my research. I did my due diligence. I asked the experts. I asked people within the field, people who were in my shoes, who actually started a business. And I learned from their mistakes. I learned from what did they do that would got them to where they are. I invested so much time into finding right mentors that kind of um, gave me one hour in like in one week, you know, just so that they sit down with me and they kind of uh, pave the path for me in, in, in everything. Like they, they give you the shortcuts um, that everything they struggled with, all the failures they went through so that it makes it easier for you. Where I am today is we created a prototype from that idea I had in mind. Um, we were able to go through these um, competitions and win, alhamdulillah. And this is the, just the start of our journey. Um, I just want to highlight one more thing in regarding to the power of an idea that is really backed with someone that is passionate and really believes in it. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard, for, heard about uh, Flat Six Labs. Um, it's an accelerator program. Um, I applied to that program on the last day within the last few hours. And believe it or not, from hundreds of um, um, applicants, I was selected. And then we go through a bootstrap um, for, which is like, um, it's like a challenge where you go um, through at least uh, two months of um, back and forth uh, programs and, and, and um, uh, webinars and uh, people that come and giving you lectures and you keep on progressing throughout this, uh, this program um, until they shortlist us from about uh, 40 and we get to be, they only select eight out of all these hundreds of applicants. And, um, you know, I was the only one who had an idea. Most of the people who were with me already had businesses. They had applications. They already secured the funding before. They have a lot of traction, which is they have subscribers within their applications. I'm the only one who had like just a paper and a pen uh, with a dream of actually making, bringing it to life. And here I am. And I, I want to tell you that it could be possible. Anything that you keep in mind, anything that you have um, dreamt of and you want to bring it to life, if you believe in it enough and you put your faith in God, anything is possible. But you need to educate yourself on the right channels and have the right experts. And trust me, put Dr. Any, uh, put Dr. Um, Isra on your right hand when it comes to um, asking her, you know, just utilize her. She's reaching out to people like us to come here and work with you guys. You know, I would pay for having like um, entrepreneurs, people that, have created something and are able to come here and support me and give me the the um, the time and uh, the time and um, the privilege of learning from their mistakes, their challenges, and you know help me grow myself. So that come this brings me to to the point that you guys need to have a proper idea that would serve a purpose, put it down on paper or, you know, build a ca business canvas, um, find every way that you could invest in that um, idea to be able to simplify it in a way that a seven or eight year old would understand it. Try to find ways to um, scale it up and with, and make sure that it has enough means to um, to actually give you pay you back or let's say um, generate revenue. Um, so yeah, like 